morning and welcome to the Cathedral of Christ the King. My name is Rachel Staub and I am um, a cantor here at the Cathedral. Last week we discussed the importance of preparing for Mass ahead of time so that when we come through the Cathedral doors, we're focused and ready to pour everything we have into our worship for our God and we can receive all that God desires to give us. Now the title for this week's message is what? Me? Sing? For as long as the church has existed, music and singing have been integral to the Mass. Some passages in the Bible are beautiful hymns that unveil the beauty, truth, and goodness of the faith in a way that only music can. Music conveys feelings and emotions that extend and amplify the spoken word. It has potential when we're open to it to transform our perspective and bring us to a place where the Holy Spirit can speak directly into the deepest recesses of our heart. You might have even had the experience of emotions and perhaps even tears welling up within you in response to hearing a beautiful piece of music played or sung. If you've never heard the Ave Maria by Bebel, um, sung by an all men's choir, I dare you to look it up and to not be moved by that. That's Bebel, B-I-E-B-L-E. -E. You should all write it down and look it up once we leave Mass. So why is it that we can have such a response to music? It's because in a unique way, music is able to make the true, the beautiful, and the good of life more real to us. And that includes the truth, beauty, and goodness of the Mass. The call that we heard in previous messages to participate fully, actively, and consciously in all respects of the Mass includes singing the songs and singing the responses to the sung prayer. God wants us to be moved by that. He wants us to be lifted up and experience that truth, beauty, and goodness that's found in our relationship to God as we participate in the Mass. So, our, um, our priests and deacons, though, say that when they celebrate the Mass and look out into the congregation, they estimate that only 60 to 70% of you ever sing. That means that 30 to 40% are choosing to sit out those parts of the Mass. And why is that? So there's two reasons that might resonate with you if you're someone who doesn't sing. The first one is that some of you think your voice just isn't good enough to sing, so you don't. But you can't buy into that excuse. God gave you the voice that you have, and he desires to have your praise. So sing. You don't have to sing loud. Just sing because you love God and want to pray and give God praise. Because when you sing, you pray twice. And we're not here, we're not on The Voice. It's not America's Got Talent. God is not a judge like Simon Cowell. He's not judging you. He doesn't care if you have a voice like Josh Groban or Celine Dion. He just wants you to praise him and to sing. So, there is another reason, though, that some of you might have for not singing, and that might go back to your adolescence. For some reason, when young people get to middle school, they pick up this false and misguided notion that singing's not cool, it might be embarrassing, or, oh yeah, all the moms do that, but you know, men can't do that. Um, but again, I point out that Ave Maria, sung by an all men's choir by Bebel, it's phenomenal, and if you listen to that, you can, you can know that singing is in no way emasculating. So these are false ideas that we have to continue to battle as parents and teachers. We're called to sing because it gives God praise that God deserves, and it lifts us up closer to God when we do it. So if you have a voice, then know that you are called on to use that singing voice during Mass. Get over whatever habit you have of not singing that may have settled in during your own middle and high school years. God wants, God asks for us a sacrifice of praise, and it's an easy sacrifice to make during the Mass. Those of you with children know that their own habits of singing at Mass will be hugely influenced by your own. Model for them what it means to pray twice by singing at the appropriate times during Mass 
and encourage them to break the mold and have the courage to sing, even if their peers don't. And if you simply can't bring yourself to sing, even after all of what I've said, I challenge you to at least pick up the hymnal and pray with the lyrics. These are beautiful prayers, so pray along with the congregation. And one last point. There are many of you who have been gifted with musical talent, like playing an instrument or singing. Perhaps it's not of professional quality, but it's good enough that you could contribute to our music ministry. Feel free to talk to Robert Whitaker, our director of music, or Rebecca Whitney, who leads our contemporary praise and worship band that plays at the 5 p.m. Sunday Mass. Find out about the possibilities of giving your gifts to making our worship even more glorious. God desires to hear our praise and thanksgiving expressed in song and the sung responses to the prayers during Mass. When we choose not to sing, we're missing an easy and golden opportunity to give God our all. And that's just a shame. Today, if needed, let's make some changes. Pick up our songbooks and pour ourselves into the Mass, including the songs and the sung prayers. We can do this.